Hello Hoovians, Crispy Bro here and welcome back to another weekly video on the channel. Thanks for sticking around, hey? Is this mic too close? Or is it not close enough? That is the question. So today we're going to touch on something we haven't really talked about on this channel um, since the announcement, which is that John Bishop will be joining the TARDIS team for 2021. I did do a small reaction video to his announcement, but we haven't really done a deep dive. I'm not really quite sure who this guy is. I have seen him in a few things here and there. I think he was on QI. I don't know. But apart from that, I really don't know much about him. Um, apparently he has a very, very strong accent. I think I remember that and everyone was commenting that in my other video. So we will see that today. We're just going to react to some clips of him in interviews and some stand up maybe. Um, but yeah, strap along for the ride. Please like the video and please subscribe if you have not already. We make Doctor Who videos every single week. John Bishop. John Bishop. Okay, what should we watch first, hey? Okay, so he's got an interview from a year ago. He's got an hour-long comedy special thing here. Okay, let's let's go from 10 years ago. I just got an iPod. It holds 24,000 songs. I've got six CDs. <laughs> <laughs> His accent isn't actually... I mean, it's, it's definitely thick, but it's actually not as off as a lot of people in my comments on the previous video were making it out to be. Doctor, I got an iPod. I can't, I'm not even gonna attempt to do the accent. I said, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Um, maybe I'm a family friendly channel. I was always, always busy. I was always liking a laugh, but I actually enjoy just being with people and talking to them a little bit more. I think that's one of the things that you get older. And it's one of the things that, because uh, when I was writing a book, <clears throat> I wanted to do a bit of research and, and, and find out stuff. And one of the things that they found is loneliness is a, is a, is a cruel... I like his, I like his energy. I mean, obviously he's a comedian and, and does, uh, does you know, he's, he's a funny guy, but... For, for old people, people always... I like it. Let's have a little squiz at his IMDB. IMDB, my favorite website. And it's going to come in handy for a series I have later this year. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa. What's happening here? Oh, it's Zendaya. It's the new... Oh, man. This screen is massive. Oh, wait. Did I look at his IMDb? Yeah, I looked at his IMDb in the last video. I don't remember much. Let's just have a... John Bishop's Britain. I read Little Britain for a second. I was like, hang on. He, he's not with Matt Lucas. Oh, whoa. People have already put up... Doctor Who things here. Interesting. Has anyone written anything for Doctor Who? No, we just got this lovely picture of Jodie going... He was in... A TV movie, a TV miniseries. Funny Cow. He was in a thing called Funny Cow. Little Crackers. He's in a couple of episodes of Skins. Now, if anything's going to give me a copyright strikes, it's a, it's, a th it's a scene from a TV show. And will become the managing director of Bristol's premier new wedding planning service. Let's get fit. I've lost it, Jim. Good news, For some everyone. Um, other audiences, like, they might need subtitles for him. I feel like I'm sounding like his accent defines him. It absolutely does not. This is Skins, yes. Get up, kid. You can do the last four reps before bed. Get up, kid. Okay, okay. I get it. Nice one. <laughs> Had me go in there. I gotta mind my own business. Yeah, yeah. Funny. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> you gotta give it to her. Convince her. Dad, I I'm trying to tell you. Shut up. I've got my he's quite... At nine. I, I like his acting style. I wonder what he's gonna be like in, in Doctor Who. He might not even have that accent in the show. You know, David Tennant famously is Scottish. And he doesn't say anything in his little teaser. His little teaser trailer. And whatever hurdles come your way, just remember, it's not the end of the world. So, do we... Do we reckon there are a few theories going on here? One is that this is John Bishop's husband. Two, that this is his workmate. Remember, and I'm not quite not sure if we can see anything in the like are they are they doing a job or are they moving house? But anyway, I really don't think there's anything you can really tell from these images. It looks like he's in some kind of cage, or maybe he's just looking through bars. Maybe he's in prison. We know nothing of this series. I mean, he is a big part of the series, but we don't know if he's going to be in every episode, if it's going to be the Doctor and Yasmin for a few, if he comes in as maybe a regular. And some people were annoyed. I was a little bit excited to see what a, um, you know, 
Doctor and Yasmin series would look like, but I, you know, from what I've seen so far, like John Bishop, he, he hasn't he hasn't made me scared of what he would be like in the show. I'm quite excited to see what they're gonna do with him because it's a fresh new character. You know, this is the first companion announcement we've had since since 2017. It's been that long. It'd be nice to have some fresh some fresh blood in the TARDIS and see and see what John Bishop does. Rest in peace to Americans and Canadians trying to understand any, any syllables John Bishop says. Last time they added a famous comedian, we got Donna Noble. I'm expecting good things. That is true. I bet someone's got a really mean reply to that. Maybe not. Matt Lucas. No, it's not. My best friend, Matt Lucas. Hope you're doing well, mate. I swear the cast of Doctor Who is obsessed with people with good chins. Does he have a good chin? But let's get the replay. Here's the chin action. Wow. Now, now that's a chin. Wowee. This will be a very, very big role for him because, you know, he does, he does have quite a few things in his filmography. But I feel like this, maybe apart from being in Skins, um, will be the biggest role of his TV career. Um, you know, he's a very successful comedian. Um, that's why I definitely recognize the name because he, he is, you know, a successful comedian. Um, has he produced anything? John Bishop's Great Whale Rescue. Give me more of that. Can I see any John Bishop whale whale rescue? Oh my gosh. This is our new companion, everyone. Key, the next hey. step goes as he is to minimize time out of the water. Oh wow. Is he on the ground? Is he with them? Is the waiting for the There he is. So she needs to breach the surface. <laughs> If she's stressed, she'll delay breathing for up to 15 minutes. This is not where I expected the video to go today. Imagine. I wonder what the captions are going to say. It's like waiting for the baby's first cry. Crying. Feels like it's taking forever. They didn't even pick that up. Hmm, interesting. But hey, happy story for this for this little whale, hey? Looks like they're doing good things. This is fun. That warmed my heart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, on that heartwarming note, I think I might leave it there. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of John Bishop being cast. Are you for it? Are you concerned that his accent's gonna be a bit too much for you? Um, or you're like, nah. Not for me. Or you're like, yes, that is for me. Yeah, let me know in the comments below and I'll read all of them. Give them a like and reply, you know, just, just a crispy pro way. Please like this video, please subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you next week where we rank every single episode of Captain Jack. Yep, we're ranking Captain Jack episodes. It's gonna be fun, stick around. Um, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Allons-y!